Hello everyone and welcome to Dear Dietitian. We have Luca, um, our winner of our first Dietitian Life Scholarship. We thought we'd bring her along today just to hear a little bit about what her journey has been like since she won the scholarship for our amazing award. Hopefully some of you have seen our scholarship at the end of, well actually a couple of months ago now. Um, so it involved sending in your resume as well as sending in what we thought might be really cool a little two minute video about why you think you will be an amazing dietitian and why you deserve the scholarship and then on top of that passing that level we move people on to one-on-one -on -one interviews where Tyson and I sat down for about 10 minutes I think it was about that 10 or 15 minutes to get a couple of questions nailed out and then we marked everybody on those questions and then from that we picked the winner so we want to do it again but we'd like to get a little bit of feedback from the winner um, about what we could do differently and why say for example you applied for it in the first place okay um, so the reason that I applied in the first place, um, I saw it and I thought, well, what have you got to lose for starters? Yeah. Um, what an awesome opportunity. And I have been following Tyson and Peter for a while and I thought, that probably sounds too good to be true to get a scholarship <laughs> with these guys. Um, but yeah, I just thought, you know, work experience, invaluable opportunity and two and a half grand, who wouldn't want some money to help support them through placement? So gave it a crack. Yeah, happy yeah. days. Yeah. So how did you go with the resume? Did your resume, was it already completed? Did you have to make modifications? So my resume was, I sort of have a bit of a template of a resume with just all of my examples and then when the job description or the scholarship application comes out, I kind of tailor it mm. to suit what they're asking, what they yep. most want to see. Yep. So I just spent an hour or so adapting that. Um, make it relevant and so did you actually put together your resume yourself or did you have somebody else do it for you say formatting and editing um, and the yeah, other? I bought a template off some random website about seven bucks that's oh. seven dollars I've ever spent there it you looks, go looks really professional you just add in your little bits um and then I just got <laughs> someone to read over it obviously to just fine tooth comb yep proofread it for me yeah. perfect excellent I think that's a really really good tip um we really liked the layout and presentation of Luca's uh, resume and that's why she moved across to the next level as well and certainly when we were coming down to the end when we were trying to judge everyone's amazing interviews that was probably one of the big selling points because for the most part we've talked about it the resumes could do a lot of work so definitely a big one is having people read it um, outside of just you because by the time you look at it 10 times 20 times if not more than that you haven't identified any spelling mistakes or the way things read yeah. um, sweet cool so what about the video? So what did you do for yeah. your video and how did you find that? Well, the first thing I had to do was actually think about, you know, a couple of reasons why I thought I was going to be yeah. a great dietitian. And that was harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I really had to think about, you know, what makes me different from, yeah. from someone else. So once I'd reflected and I found my, you know, top three things, um, I kind of wrote down a bit of a script of what I sort of wanted to say, mm -hmm. um, but without wanting it to look too scripted, I just... You know, put the well, camera up right. and practiced it a couple of times. Yeah. So how many takes did it take? Um, probably ten. Ten. <laughs> probably ten. And then I think <laughs> I picked like the second one after all of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And what were the three things? Do you remember? Yeah. So the first was um, my ability to relate to people and empathise with people. I think that's a big one. Um, my second was being flexible and really adaptable and being comfortable in situations where things don't go to plan. Which you've already mentioned. Yeah. Um, and my third was... What was my third? Empathy. Ability to relate to people. Oh, reflection. Being really reflective yeah. and always thinking, you know, how could I improve that situation in the future, what can I do differently and that kind of continual learning mm. through reflection. Yeah, um, I remember um, Luca's interview and I definitely think what you said at the beginning around practicing it, writing down your ideas so you've got something in your head, then obviously just rolling with it. Um, what we did notice is what there, there was a lot of structure and a lot of people would read and we can see that and certainly if you don't know in your head why you would be a good dietitian, uh, well that's a big problem. So honestly, just need to know exactly why and also speaking from your heart and from your head versus overthinking it is the easiest way um, to yeah, be yourself and sell yourself. Yeah. Um, so in terms of the last bit, which was actually the interview in person, how did you find that one? 
I was so nervous. It was very nerve wracking. I've never really done an interview as well, like over Zoom mm -hmm. rather than um, face to face. Challenging media. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's so hard when you guys don't want to give any responses, so you're just very like neutral <laughs> like, answering questions, and you're like, okay, <laughs> was that wrong? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> yes, it was a very challenging <laughs> process. <laughs> But yeah, definitely some curly questions that I wasn't expecting in there. Um, the clinical question was interesting. Mm -hmm. I've never really had an, an interview that hasn't been for like a retail job, so I've never yeah. had that experience in getting a clinical question on the spot. That was good practice mm -hmm. for the future, I think. An unusual one. I don't think you'd get that one um, too often. Okay. Yeah, just putting it out there. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, and um, how did you feel our questions were? Do you think they actually gauged the, the right answers? Do you think um, we should have changed or modified anything in particular? Um, no, not necessarily. I think it was, I could tell you were trying to find out you know, is this going to be someone who is a dietitian for a year and then gets over it and gets sick of it? You're mm -hmm. asking lots about what's going to keep you engaged and interested and what makes you think you're going to be able to get a job compared to other people because it is a hard industry. Yep. So I think the questions were good. They were targeted. Okay. I provided you a lot of good <laughs> feedback just yet. Um, so in terms of the interview in itself, did you prepare yeah. in any way? Um, didn't really know how to. Yeah, look, to be honest, didn't really know how to. Yeah, yeah. understandable, that's all right. Yeah. And if, say, for example, um, opportunities like that um, were to come up again for any other students, what sort of advice would you actually give to them? Um, definitely, yeah, get someone to proofread your resume. Um, I'm not sure if it, it definitely wasn't part of the application process, and I don't know if it made a difference, but I put in a cover letter because I just think if you're going to apply for a job, should always put a cover letter in, even if they don't ask for it. I don't know if you read it or not, but it was in there. <laughs> um, and definitely with your video, just you know, think of a few things that make you different, and it doesn't have to be what you think they think are the right answers. It's just what is unique about you and what makes you a good dietitian. Yep. And try not to be scripted because I think it, it would be hard to watch a video where it's too scripted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's really good advice. And do you think everybody really should have a crack at applying for it? A hundred percent. I mean. Yeah. It's two and a half grand, it's work experience with a fantastic company, I don't see why you wouldn't apply. Yeah. yeah. And so far, um, have you done any work experience with us just yet? Yes, yeah, so I've been doing a couple of little tasks with um, dietitian life and food life, which has been interesting. Cool. I'm not too sure how much I can say about it, <laughs> but it's been interesting, there's lots of learning being involved. Yep, yep. Yes. And do you think um, you'll continue to do them? Yeah, definitely. For yeah. as long as they keep coming, I'll keep doing them. Um, and say, for example, other people, other students, um, would you recommend that they look for work experience? Obviously, you've already suggested that they actually go and to seek out some dietitians in practice. Mm -hmm. um, what about the tasks that you've been doing? Do you think you've um, you've learned anything? Has it been valuable? Yeah, um, without I can say too much, one of the tasks that I did, I had to do a lot of research, my own personal kind of learning into um, childhood nutrition and disabilities and how that kind of ties in it's definitely not something they covered at uni so it was you know it was helpful for you guys but it also was an opportunity for me to learn about something that they didn't teach in uni yeah so it was kind of a mutual benefit. yeah and I, I think this is um this is the work as it stands it's not just going in and seeing clients it's mm -hmm. doing all the background stuff mm -hmm. and some people or some students might think well you know i don't have time for that i want to sit in mm -hmm. with consults but it's all part of it and yeah. it all gets you better molded and more adjusted I guess to what it is going to be like particularly if you are you are wanting to work in a, a private practice or a community setting or just in general because it looks really good on your resume yeah because you're able to put all those experiences at the top and even if you haven't got experience as a dietitian yet you're certainly doing everything in your power to obviously get you closer to that job that you're actually after yeah. um, and if you are interested in private practice it certainly gets you a foot into the door to then potentially ask them um, you know, for some work in the future as well. <laughs> uh, so definitely, I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it. We will be likely putting up another scholarship next year, so stay in touch. And hopefully those little top tips from Luca have given you uh, all the information you need to nail it. So no excuses from any of you to watch this video. The best way to win the Dietitian Life Scholarship is watch this. <laughs> yeah. All right, sweet. Well, thank you very much, Luca, for coming down today. Um, and yeah, we'll I'll certainly be in touch and good luck with the rest of your endeavors. Thank you. All right, see you guys. Bye.